Good afternoon, believers all over the world. Welcome to the Sunday service. Ah, I'm sure you are still meditating and licking your fingers on the J or the J message. Quite a wonderful uh, message from Deuteronomy 3. Uh, yes, we can never be found in this city if there was no men, glorious men, who invested and defeated Og, the king of Bashan, the city of the giants. We thank God for using Pastor Baloi in that manner and to remind us that we were strangers. It was on account of the suffering, the warrior in Christ that we are here. We are going to do the Ziklag Sound Advice 10, which is subtitled Acquired Ignorance. So, there are two words that I want us to remember as we go into this advice. Two words that so many people haven't heard about, but we use them every day, albeit ignorantly. You see, there, there is something in this world that we should always remember. You may be involved in things that affect your life passively, the fact that you don't know that you are involved does not mean that you are not involved. The fact that you were not invited to be involved does not mean that you are involved. Um, when you learn how you are involved and how you cannot be uninvolved, mm -hmm. you are then going to voluntarily involve yourself with informed decisions and wise um, advice. And you are going to be participating in those things, knowing very well that if you don't participate, you are selling your freedom, you are selling your liberties, you are selling your happiness, your joy, and your peace, and your future at a discount. One example of uh, something that has been um, so much um, mishandled by us it has been stigmatized beyond um, a normal threshold. And it has been uh, weaponized to such an extent that people are telling themselves that they are not involved. But if you are telling yourself that you are involved, you are not involved. You are simply in denial. You get involved even without knowing. Passive. Um, unknowing involvement is such, one such matter is politics. The Greek origin, the word politics is of a Greek origin. Politics is a Greek origin, the word itself. It means by the people. Politics means people deciding what they want to do with their future. Politics means choosing your own leadership. You are going to have a leader that you have chosen. Chosen by the people. Organized by the people. Set up by the people. That is the origin of the word politics. Mm -hmm. So, it's people based. Politics is people based. Our politicians have stigmatized the word. They make it taboo for the people to talk about politics, yes. they tell you that you are not to discuss politics. Mm. Become a politician for you to discuss politics. But you don't need to be a politician to discuss politics. To be politically conscious, to be participating, to be involved. Politics is not for politicians. It's for the people. Mm. But there is something there. When people say, I don't love politics, I am not involved in politics, it's not true. Everyone is involved. A simple example is that, let's talk about voting. 
If you vote, you have made a choice. You have chosen the one who is going to be your president. Mm -hmm. So you are involved. You are the one who elected the president. If you didn't vote, you participated. Mm -hmm. You allowed those who are in office to remain in office. <laughs> you have passively voted mm -hmm. for he that is in office to stay in office. Mm -hmm. So eventually, no one is not participating in politics. Everyone is involved, either actively or passively. But then, the two words I want to introduce are misinformation and disinformation. Very important words, overseer. Misinformation and disinformation. Misinformation is when you are telling people information that is not right, that is not correct, um, it, it usually is something that is done, uh, not always, but seldom by mistake. Mm -hmm. It's based on your um, uh, ignorance of the truth, the correct information. Because you don't know the correct information, what you are doing now is you are now telling people the information that is wrong. So people are going to take what, uh, what you have said. Misinformation from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary is incorrect or misleading information. But this information now is different from misinformation. This information is when you deliberately tell people information that is wrong so that you can change the correct information that the people already have. This information is a deliberate act of telling people information that is seeks to challenge, to manipulate, to replace the correct information that the people have. For example, I'll give you two or three examples where disinformation is working. Where presidents, especially in Africa, are failing to lead people to deliver on national uh, responsibilities, infrastructure development, combating corruption, uh, responsible leadership, things like protecting and upholding the constitution, the rule of law, protecting the rights of their citizens. The politicians are failing to do that. Journalists, like in our country, Zimbabwe, like Opo Chungono and others, they then um, report on those corruption issues. The drugs is scandal, the made of more blessing early, the lack of infrastructure in our hospitals, the deplorable state of our roads, our public health institutions. So the journalists are informing the people about the reality. The presidents or the president or the leaders, they hire people called Varakashi who are given 10 US dollars a day to go overdrive on disinformation uh, uh, duties, this information uh, project. What they do is they take pictures of roads that are being built in Singapore. They they put it on a on a, on a on a channel titled "ED is my hope," and they say the president is is building roads. Mm -hmm. You see. So they continue to provide information that the president is doing something, mm -hmm. he's combating corruption, mm -hmm. but he is not. And sometimes they try to disinform the public about the people who are correctly informing the public, mm -hmm. like telling the people lies about Wopo Chungono mm -hmm. so that they can discredit him. Mm -hmm. You see, Instead of asking Chamisa what Chamisa is saying, they take a video, they comment, they tell you, Mr. Chamisa, 
is saying this, or they take a picture of Tendai BT in America flanked by United States lawmakers. They then tell a story. Mr. BT was in America begging for the American government to put Zimbabwe on sanctions. You have never heard Mr. BT saying, please put our country on, on sanctions. It's just a picture mm -hmm. of Mr. Tendai Beat with white people. Mm -hmm. The whole world is now mis- and disinformed. Misinformation is always, not always deliberate, but disinformation is deliberate, deliberate introduction, publicization of information that is meant to misinform, to disinform. To, to dispossess you of the correct information that you have. When people look at Mr. Beatty, they will ask him, why are you begging for sanctions? Mm. Ask them, who told you that? Well, the government told us. Mm. But how sure are you? Well, we saw you with white men. Oh. So if you are seen with the lions, it means you are begging lions to come and eat people in the village. Is that how it works? No, it's not. That's disinformation. So disinformation is dangerous because when people are disinforming you, what they do is they use resources that other people do not have. For example, in the case of government, they use national state media, the ZBC TV, the radio stations, the newspaper, uh, 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 the newspaper, the media houses, H Metro, Blawayo uh, 24, Blawayo Metro, the Chronicle, the Herald, the H Metro, the News Day, the Daily News, the government gazettes, the provincial radios, Capital, Diamond FM, Star FM, Z FM, they tell you information that seeks to dispossess you of the correct information that you have. That's disinformation for you. Very, very dangerous. And people now, because they are myopic and naive, they will believe that they will never ask two questions. Can we listen also to the person you are naming the villain here, can you put him on your TV? Can you put Mr. Tendai BT on ZTV to answer to this matter? Mm -hmm. For how long shall you label him an evil man who went to America to invite sanction? Mm -hmm. Can we hear him himself? Mm -hmm. Can he answer for himself? How come we have never seen him on ZTV mm -hmm. responding to these allegations? Is this not a one-sided story? Is this professional? Mm. You see? Mm. So this is disinformation. It's very dangerous. But we are going to talk about it in light of the, the advice. Acquired ignorance. So these two words are usually um, very, very strangely found together. It's rare to find them in one sentence. Acquired ignorance. Usually people go to school to acquire education. When you are going to school, to college, to university, you are going to university to deal with your ignorance, mm -hmm. to acquire knowledge. The word acquire is the same meaning as the word purchase. Education is a commodity that people pay for with their money. Yes. Your parents paid for school fees. That's why you went to school and finished your course. You purchased that degree that you have, that certificate, that diploma. You bought it. It's a commodity. Education is a commodity. But the question we have today is, have you managed to deal with your ignorance by purchasing knowledge? What you call knowledge, is it knowledge? Is it not ignorance? Has it ever occurred to you that you paid money 
to acquire ignorance. Are you knowledgeable? Are you informed? Or you have been disinformed? The difference between someone who is uninformed and one who is informed and one who is disinformed. Very important difference. The one who is uninformed is one who has heard nothing about it. The one who is informed is one who knows something about it, who has learned something about it. The one who is disinformed is the one who was told something wrong or something false about it. <laughs> yeah. There are people who are informed about Jesus, mm -hmm. they, and yet there are people who are uninformed about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And again, there is another group of people mm -hmm. who are disinformed about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Have you ever considered that you are disinformed about Jesus? Just think about it that you may have actually paid money someone mm -hmm. to disinform you. An example is buying the H Metro, the Herald newspaper. Are you not buying a piece of ignorance? Not just ignorance, but ignorance that comes in the form of knowledge. You know? So I can talk about this glass of water, assuming that there was nothing in this glass. The glass was empty. But I want to drink something, so I put water inside this glass. The glass is no longer empty. It is full of water. I can drink this water like this. But there is another situation where instead of putting water in this glass, yes. I can put sewage in this glass. Mm -hmm. The glass is full of something. Mm -hmm. But what is in this glass is worse than being empty at all. Kuto empty, quite of none. Yes. When the glass is full of sewage, it means there is nothing useful in this glass. Mm. But there is something. If people will ask me, do you have water to drink? I will say I have nothing to drink. And yet the glass is full of sewage. Mm. That's the problem with disinformation. Mm -hmm. You have nothing useful in your mind, but your head is full of something. Mm. Full of sewage. Mm. Nothing useful. Yes. That's the effect of what disinformation. Yes. Over here, yes. welcome our people <laughs> and comment a little bit on acquired <laughs> ignorance. Uh, welcome, believers. Welcome, brethren, to the Ziklag Sound Advice 10. Yes. Acquired ignorance. Yes. Is the title. Uh, we thank God and we're expecting Mama. Uh, the introduction itself uh, carries a lot of knowledge in it, and we have learned about uh, misinformation, disinformation, and having acquired the appropriate information. So we now know that uh, there are people uh, around us and in this world and community um preying on this informing uh, the society and that's a deliberate act of investing falsehoods into the general public or individuals yes. so we are we are expectant and we we are waiting to learn more about this sound advice thank you ma'am yes in the media in the media fraternity or in the media field, it's called spinning. Spinning is when you take something useless 
you you report it over and over and over again <laughs> until it becomes a chorus <laughs> yeah. and people begin to think that it is something so what happens is for example with state media that are controlled by tyrannical government mm -hmm. when something very important happens that embarrasses the government the government cannot report on that matter because it highlights their own failures and incompetences they find something useless to spin mm -hmm. instead of reporting on the matter the brutal <coughs> maid of more blessing Ali. Mm. They report the president is going to the Asadak summit. Yeah. The, the, the president's wife attended a church service. Mm. The president's wife knelt down before village heads and, and chiefs. Mm. And the whole media talks about it. The first lady, <laughs> very humble, she knelt down respecting our traditional leaders. Mm. At that very same time, there was a very important matter of national importance that the whole nation should have been talking about. So they spin nonsense. Mm -hmm. They spin garbage, sewage, over and over again. Mm -hmm. By spinning nonsense and trivia, mm -hmm. they are distracting your attention from the subject of importance. Mm -hmm. It's also a method of disinformation. Mm -hmm. They disinform you about the murder of a citizen mm. by informing you about <laughs> useless socialites mm. who are wasting their lives and making money by spending time doing nothing and shamelessly parading their nakedness on social media. Mm. Disinformation. Disinformation is difficult because the people who are supposed to be informing you are the ones who are telling you lies. Yeah. And because you depended on them for years and decades and centuries, mm -hmm. you have no choice but to think that they must be telling the truth. This information is done by the people who are expected to be informing you about important things. You are disinformed by the trustworthy, trusted sources. The radio stations, the TV stations, the channels that usually talk about important stuff, they are the ones that are disinforming you. But the issue now is not about disinformation only. The issue is about how much we are paying to be disinformed. That's why it's called acquired ignorance. It's your data you are using. You pay data, you buy data to watch disinforming videos. Mm. You read disinforming articles. You listen to disinforming uh, podcasts that deceive you. You are not getting disinformation for free. Mm. You have to pay mm. to be deceived. Mm -hmm. You have to pay to be told that you have to discard the truth that you saw yourself on a video. You saw it happening. Mm -hmm. Somebody goes on the news mm -hmm. to disinform you. You see, I remember some few years ago when there was a strike, a stay at home mm -hmm. that was organized by civic uh, organizations. The town was deserted. I was preaching in the streets. So I went to preach on that particular day. Even ourselves, we had very little people mm -hmm. where we preached. We walked in town, most shops were closed. Only one or two supermarkets were open. Mm -hmm. No one came to work. Mm -hmm. You see, I was there in town. Mm -hmm. When I watched the news in the evening, yes. the ZTV said it was work as usual <laughs> in town. <laughs> they actually mocked those who organized <laughs> the, 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 the strike. They said they failed dismally. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yes. What hit me was I was expected to pay for mm. the TV license. license. Yes. So by paying for your TV license, mm. you are paying the government yes. for disinforming you. Mm. There was a time when I said the only truth about the Herald is mm. the date. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the price. 
And the price, yes. The price is true. The date is true. true. Obviously, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Everything else, it's a lie. Let us read the book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 24 to verse 28. Yes. The chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and begged that he should be examined by scourging yes. so that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned? When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. You should never try to beat up this man yes. uh, without following due procedure. Mm -hmm. As stipulated by the Roman law. Yes. As much as this man is of a Jewish nativity, descent, mm -hmm. but is also a Roman citizen. Yes. What should you do? Whatever you do, be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are going to find yourself at loggerheads with the emperor yes. in Rome. Yes. Then the chief captain came. The chief captain came him. to Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me, art thou a Roman? Are you a Roman? He said, yeah. Paul said, yes, I am a Roman. And the chief captain answered, with a great sum obtained I this freedom. And Paul said, but I was free born. Let's end there. I just wanted to show you something exciting in this scripture. Yes. The chief captain was a military man. He was a soldier, a Roman soldier. But we heard then that he was not a native Roman. Mm -hmm. He had bought citizenship with a great sum of money. Yes. So he said to Paul, are you a Roman? Mm -hmm. Paul said, yes, I'm a Roman. Mm -hmm. And the chief captain said, well, I paid huge sums of money mm -hmm. to obtain what he called this freedom. Yes. To him, being a Roman was freedom. Was freedom. Yes. <laughs> And Paul said, but I was born free. Mm. I paid no cent to mm. become a Roman citizen. Yes. Which means Paul was a Roman citizen by birth. Mm. Of course, we know that um, he, he was there in Cilicia. So I want to talk about the two, the, the two men and the, the, the significance of their conversation. Mm. To be a Roman, mm -hmm. the captain paid a huge sum of money. Yes. But Paul was born, born free. free. Yes. With a great sum obtained, mm -hmm. I this freedom. Yes. Paul said, you know, I was born free. The significance of this variation between these two men is something that can never be ignored because Paul was a preacher of the gospel yes. where he preached the grace of God which we are to obtain free of charge because it was paid for completely and entirely by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Yes. We are to become children of God and by that virtue we become citizens of the kingdom of God. Let us read the book of Ephesians, chapter, chapter 2, verse 19. Yes. yes. Therefore, we are no more strangers and you, foreigners. We are no more strangers and foreigners. Yes. But fellow citizens with fellow, the saints. Fellow citizens with what? The with saints. The, with the saints. And of the household of God. We belong to the household of God. Yes. How much did we pay? Nothing. Nothing. Our citizenship in God yes. is free yes. of yes. charge. Yes. You see, our citizenship is what? It's free. We are born free. Yes. We become citizens by virtue of birth. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. So everyone who is born mm -hmm. into a country, yes. you become a natural citizen. Yes. yes. That's why when you are a foreigner mm -hmm. and you want to become a citizen, yes. in other countries, you pay huge sums of money. Yes. There are countries where if you buy a property or if you invest a certain threshold of money, mm -hmm. you are now eligible to, be, to have a citizenship that is based yes. on a price. Mm -hmm. You invest 5 million US dollars, they make you a citizen. But if you are poor and you are looking for a job, <laughs> they will give you a permit. Yes. And if that permit expires, you must go home. Mm -hmm. If you refuse, they will deport you. Mm -hmm. They will arrest you for violating their immigration laws. <laughs> but those who are born, they don't need money, money to become citizens. Oh, yes. They are just born citizens. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, there is a problem now when we come up with an understanding that in order for you to become a child of God, yes. you don't pay a huge sum of money mm -hmm. like the Roman captain did. Yes. You just need to be born of God. Mm -hmm. Born and you become a citizen. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are those who were not born, those who are not born, born to God. Mm -hmm. But they are coming across people who are now selling them citizenship to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is not something that can happen. Yes. It doesn't work mm -hmm. like that. Yes. When you pay money to come to God, you are not coming to God. Oh, yes. Whoever told you that you can give money and you become a child of mm. God, they deceived you. Yes. But that money you have paid, yes. you have paid for ignorance. ignorance. Because they are going to tell you, because you have sowed the seed, mm -hmm. you are now under my covering. Mm -hmm. You are now a child of God. Mm -hmm. The blessings of God shall come upon you. Yes. Not only have you been told something that doesn't work, yes. which is disinformation. Yes. The Bible teaches that sonship to God yes. is through believing in the gospel. Yes. Yes. The man of God told you something else. Mm. They said you must become under my, my covering. Mm. You must become a child of the prophet or the apostle or the evangelist or the bishop. Mm. Be a child in the house. So you pay money. Some are called partnerships every month. Mm. You can't stay in the books of the church, the register, without making such subscription. Some they call them uh, tithes. If you get sick, you call the men of God. They first read and look for your name in the tithe books. Uh, yeah. If you don't bring your tithe, they will not come to pray for you. Yeah. You are trying to purchase citizenship, citizenship to God. Mm. But citizenship to God is not purchasable. It's not for sale. Mm. So you pay money and walk around. I am a child of God because all my, 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 my obligations are fully paid. Mm. You have paid yes. for ignorance. <laughs> yeah. Let's read the book of Matthew 28 and see something else that happened there. Mm -hmm. Overseer, let's read from verse number one. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment as white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. The angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As ye said, Come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. So, there shall you see him. If you look at verse 7 over here, yes. go quickly and tell his disciples yes. that he is risen from the dead. Yes. And behold, he goes before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Yes. As I have told you. Yes. <laughs> It was just an open instruction. There was no money. There's no price involved. Yes. Go quickly and tell them. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
They were not instructed to go and charge. No. Mm -hmm. They departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear mm -hmm. and great joy. Yes. Yes. And did run to bring his disciples word. Yes. This is how those who are sent go to preach. Mm -hmm. They go quickly as they are instructed. Mm -hmm. Yes. But they go with the two things, mm -hmm. fear yes. and yes. great joy. Amen. <laughs> those who are sent to preach by God, mm -hmm. they go with the fear Amen. of God mm -hmm. and great, great joy. joy. The joy of their own salvation. Yes. Mm -hmm. The joy of the message of salvation. Oh, yes. The glad tidings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who? would not want or find joy mm. in hearing about the works of Christ yes. that he perfected on the cross yes. and give out a gift of salvation yes. free of charge yes. to all who believe. It's a great message of joy. Mm. It's a message that brings great joy. Yes. Yes. But those who carry the message, they go with fear. <laughs> And yeah. trembling. Yes. Because they don't, they don't want, want to manipulate this message. Oh, yes. Yes. They, they don't do. want to violate this message. Yes. This message is too good. Yes. We should never pervert this message. Yes. It's a message that brings life to those who are in the tombs oh, of heresy, yes. yes. in the tombs of darkness and filthiness of sin. We must handle this message with care. Mm. They fear God, yes. but they are also filled with great joy. Great joy. They run yes. to bring what? His it disciples' word. Yes. All right. Let's now read verse 11. Now when they were going, yes. behold, some of the watch came into the city. These are the soldiers who were manning the tomb. Yes. Mm -hmm. The sentries, yes. And showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. They told the priest, Jesus has risen. Yes. yes. We couldn't stop him. Mm. We don't know how it happened, but there's too much power there. <laughs> we thank God we are still alive. <laughs> Verse 12. And when they were assembled. Yes. With the elders, yes. and they taken counsel. Yes, they gave large money mm. unto the soldiers. Yes. The chief priests and their elders mm. took counsel. Mm -hmm. We don't want this message to go. Yes. Now this is an example now mm -hmm. of disinformation. Yes. yes. In verse number one to verse number uh, eight, eight, there is information. Yes. Go and tell my disciples, mm -hmm. I have risen yes. from the dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to meet with them in Galilee. Yes. They were so filled with joy. joy. And there was a fear in mm -hmm. them. Yes. They went to tell the people yes. the correct message. Yes. So when this information takes place, mm -hmm. it is following after mm -hmm. the correct mm -hmm. information. Yes. So disinformation is like a virus mm -hmm. that comes to crash mm -hmm. your computer, yes. which is already programmed and operating well. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have loaded the operating software and the drivers. Yes. You are operating your computer very well. Mm -hmm. The correct drivers are installed, mm -hmm. but the Trojan virus, the malware, comes <laughs> in to disinform mm -hmm. the computer yes. to start to misbehave. Mm -hmm. So this information is a computer virus. Mm. Yes. It's a malware. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. for you to be disinformed, mm -hmm. money should be involved. This information is a job that requires people to be incentivized mm -hmm. for it to work. It's an evil work. Mm -hmm. People should be paid to disinform. Yes. Nobody disinforms for free. Mm -hmm. For someone to tell you something wrong, about someone or something to tarnish their name to cause you to hate something that you should love. They have to get something to do it. Because naturally, people are not built to love to do such kind of evil work. Every evil work is paid in some mm. Those who do it, they get paid. Mm. The soldiers, Mm -hmm. We're manning the tomb. Mm -hmm. yes. They also wanted to go quickly yes, and tell the world that Jesus has risen. Yes. But there was a disinformation mm -hmm. a program that the Pharisees and the elders wanted to do. Yes. What happened again? Let's hear what happened. Say, 
Say ye, start from verse 12. And when they were assembled with the elders, yes, and they had taken counsel, yes, they gave large money unto the soldiers. How much money? Large money. How much money is large money? It's <laughs> up to you to tell. It depends on your mentality. Yes. Maybe hundred dollars is large <laughs> money. Mm. Maybe one thousand is large, large money. money. Maybe ten thousand. Maybe a million is large money. Mm. But the truth is, they got large, large money. money. Yeah. Let's find out. Why, why were they given large money? Mm -hmm. Yes. Saying, say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were slept. Now, mm. what happens now, Pastor? <laughs> this is now a perfect example of disinformation. Yes. Though, you know, the disinformation is... Chayo, chayo. And I am not a tower. Yes. Kuta anakumuka, mm. akabi watakarara. Yeah. So, like you explained, yes. you deliberately do it. Yes. You do it to it achieve, achieve an, yes. an ulterior agenda or motive. Yes. You sit down and you tell yourself, yes. these people already know the truth. Yes. That's how disinformation works. Yes. We want them to doubt the truth. Mm -hmm. And to suspect the, the truth, truth, let us misinform and disinform them. Yes. So you hire people mm -hmm. who go on a rampage mm -hmm. to say things that they know never happen. Yes. So that they can cause you to reject the truth. Mm -hmm. So that you may hold on to lies. Yes. And dispel the truth. Mm -hmm. Disinformation. Yes. The cost of ignorance. Mm -hmm. All right. So they were going to talk and say his disciples came by night mm -hmm. and stole him away yes. while we slept. Yes. Look at this disinformation. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to share with you because I've got a short period of time now. Disinformation always is successful when it is done to people of three important characteristics. Yes. In order for them to disinform mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. have to be myopic. You mm -hmm. have to be naive. Mm -hmm. That is simply dull-minded. Unongo mm -hmm. investigative. Unongo mm -hmm. introspective. Unengo mm -hmm. vigilant. Yes. Unengo ngori munu uya uya ari sentimentally naive. Mm -hmm. But for you to be disinformed again, you also need to be confused yourself. <laughs> yeah. You have to be naive and myopic. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have to be confused. Mm -hmm. Number three, you have to be someone who already has a certain uh, a certain hatred or dislike oh, of I that see. someone or truth. that something. Mm -hmm. The truth Maybe the truth, but there's something you don't like about the truth. Mm -hmm. So you are grasping at straws in your mind. Mm -hmm. Can someone give me reason mm -hmm. to refuse the truth? So disinformers find you in that state yes. of discontentment with mm -hmm. the truth. So the disinformers provide you with an alternative narrative yes. by which you can walk away mm -hmm. from the truth. Yes. If you don't like overseer, overseer is being successful, he builds a new house, he buys a new car, you already don't like him. Mm -hmm. But you can't really say it out because there's nothing you have against him. Yes. Somebody writes on Twitter, he is a ritualist, mm -hmm. he is shedding blood to make money. Mm -hmm. There's no truth in that. Mm -hmm. But already you don't like him. Yes. So you walk away from how he lives. Mm -hmm. You start to believe the reports of those who are disinforming you. Unfortunately, even wickedness yes. is not for free. People are paying for wickedness which is being sold at a very steep price. Mm -hmm. Evil is more expensive than good. <laughs> Evil is more expensive than good. Lies are more expensive than the truth. Yes. And this is what I came to tell you. 
Unengo wa garachini juu singa chide. Mm-hmm. Uine kame kakusachifari razo. Mm-hmm. Ma disinformers pa wano uya. Mm-hmm. Wano kutauri razo. Wango waka mirira. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We have people in this world, I want to tell you this. We have people in this world, if God doesn't help them, they are going to live a very, very sad and sorrowful life. Very good people. They just did one good thing, which was not liked by people who have more resources than they have. And disinformers have worked night and day to hate those people's names. They have no one to vindicate them. They have no one to stand up and say, no, you are saying things that are not right about this man. This is not what he did. This is not what she has done. Mm -hmm. There are people who are followed. We have more followers, more subscribers, more likes on social media. They have said things that are not only wrong, Mm -hmm. but they are preposterous against those people. Because of their followers, the whole nation, the whole community believes what has been said. These people have not, these many followers, even if they write something on Facebook, no one will hear it. So they are hating inside. I did not do that. This is wrong. Mm -hmm. This is the effect of disinformation. Mm -hmm. If you go into social science today, they will tell you social media is causing a lot of suicide to be done by people Mm -hmm. who have been slandered, who have been personally attacked without cause because of these disinformers. Mm -hmm. Some of them do not even know the people who are attacking personally. They just highlight, they find people of interest who may get the people to talk about them. So they attack people because they want to be heard. They want to generate more likes, more videos, more subscribers, more content, and monetized content, give them money. And there are people who have taken their lives because nobody was willing to hear them anymore. Mm. Someone is bitter because their husband left them because of disinformation. Mm. Somebody is bitter because his wife left him Mm. because of disinformation. Yes. Trolling. Mm. is one other method of disinformation. Yes. But disinformation is much more hateful than trolling. Mm. Because trolling is all about saying bad things about someone. Mm-hmm. Disinformation, it targets your character. Mm. It claims to be the truth. Yes. It claims to be based on evidence. Yes. Because people are naive, they don't investigate and analyze the evidence. Does it qualify to be called evidence? Mm. Those who say we have the evidence, we have, we, have, we, have, we have had evidence. Listen to what they are calling evidence. Look at what they are calling evidence. Does this qualify to be called evidence? If it was a court of law, would this be admitted in a court of law as admissible evidence? There are people who are told, I have evidence. Mm-hmm. This statement, I have evidence, evidence, is now what they are calling the evidence. evidence. <laughs> Somebody has yes. been saying, I have evidence for the past That's five right. years. Mm-hmm. He has never brought out anything. Mm-hmm. He evidence, denial. No evidence. Now, These are things that I'm talking about in respect of natural world things. Mm. But there's a grander issue, Mm. the issue of your salvation. There is acquired ignorance. Mm. You are given a product that you must buy. Mm. But this information, this product, is not informing you. It is disinforming you. You are going to be able to argue but your arguments are based on information that was loaded in your mind for that very same purpose yeah. to it's argue with the truth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Unoramba Munari faithful. 
uchiti uri joki Susan. <laughs> Apana chandi singa zive pa msoro pako. Susan ha goti. Ndaka ita seiko na mkoma na wangu tawanda. <laughs> Shonzi ruzevar weze ruozi ziba kuti. Uri jachura wa chachura haigiri mangai wewe. <laughs> Shunuzo haru kuzira suze ni kutijo kishu. Mm. Wakambo shu hongo rora wei rei wei. Usati wataura mm. nae. Mm. Kwe hiwa waka taura neja suze ni asipo. Mm. Mm. Ukatoshi tenda usina kufati. Munoda ere kutindideze suze. Mm. Mungo taura murizu wenye ya ripo. Mm. Ugoona kutifanura mbele wa chishu. Taura. Awoshike mm. ikweze iku. <laughs> Iwewe. You are a naive and a myopic empty soul. Anything that comes out of people's mouths, you believe. The only problem is you are now the loudest debater in the world. Mm -hmm. You argue that you have knowledge. Your knowledge was loaded into you at a cost. <laughs> people who loaded such knowledge in you, they were preparing a religious terrorist. Mm. That's what terrorism uh, 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 is birthed from. Yes. When people are establishing a terrorist organization, they recruit mm -hmm. new people. Mm -hmm. They load them yes. with hatred based in most cases mm -hmm. on propaganda, mm -hmm. on lies. Yes. Yes. These are our natural enemies from our great, great ancestors. Yes. So when you walk around, you hate people. Mm -hmm. But the basis of your hatred is something that you wouldn't even verify yourself. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate thing is you also paid mm. to be disinformed. Mm. So they went and walked around saying, well, Jesus didn't rise up from the dead. His disciples stole from him from the grave his body where we slept. If you look at verse 13 of Matthew 28, you can see the three qualities mm -hmm. of victims of disinformation. Mm. Yes. What are the three qualities? You are naive and myopic. You are You're confused. confused. You already confused. have a biased opinion over the person that you are being disinformed about, oh, yes. even before the mm. disinformer came. Yes. Listen to what the soldiers were going to preach. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not rise up yep. from the dead. Mm -hmm. We are the people who were guarding his tomb. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you give them your attention. Mm -hmm. If they were the men at the guard post, yes. they should have better knowledge yes. whether Jesus rose or he didn't. Mm -hmm. You then ask them, how sure are you mm -hmm. that these apostles came and stole his body? Yes. They say, well, they stole him while we were sleeping. <laughs> we were too asleep yeah. to stop them from stealing his body. But we were also too awake Wait, to, to not see, see that I'm it was his disciples. <laughs> <laughs> that was something else, am I? <laughs> too asleep to stop the disciples yes. from stealing his body, yes. but also too awake <laughs> to be uh, 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 unable to see it as it happened. Peter Chai and Dakamona and Dakarara. Peter Chai and Chai and Dakamona and Dakarara. A canya, why are so in Dakarara? Dan Dakarara, Papa Zaka Dagata, the Gumbata Peter. But Akawa Dakarara, Tura movie with Jesus, so to find a nice in Dan Dakarara. Takata za kumisa, atuti za ziripo. So kutitaye pasi na kurara, dae takata wa bata wakumana. Kugotu itavani wa nuti, amen. Kuzinu jiri nonsense kwa wajokada. This is why you said they are myopic. And myopic they are and naive and confused. Again. Yes. If you listen to the story or to yes, the message, you yes. can tell that this is nothing but disinformation <laughs> in food right. It, it's big. Yeah. My own era, disinformation. Mm -hmm. Every disinformation is a moon are intelligent, yes, moon are wise, moon mm. are sober, yes, moon are vigilant. I know you all know what it is, my friend. You know, Neka, but you are never going to put it on my picture, Emma Rhodes. 
Kuna 2022. Vashida <laughs> kwa waka shipera before election ya 2023. Mm. Awaka taza kuwaka for 41 years. Mm. Wada kwa waka in 12 months. Wada kwa waka <laughs> round round about tempa mpuzi kupera before election. <laughs> Patra Jesse, Jinej Tim, as niggas are right. Who go to the ED is my hope. Hi. Yeah. Could you go to Munaga Burgo, Vauden, Pagatavana, got to a Kenjika chop chop? My elections are not, you got no pet. My moon five years ago, quite twenty years ago, what the air could I have? Eh, now they pay the edges wrong. Oh, so this is how it, this information works. Yes, but looking at the gospel side now, mm. let's read verse 14 and 15 see how it ended. We want to see if this information worked mm -hmm. regarding the gospel that days our Lord rose from the dead. Yes. 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 And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. Mm. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. So they took the money. Yes. And did as they were taught. Yes. Is this not a Bible college? <laughs> the soldiers had to taught. go through a college, mm -hmm. a tutorial, a lecture. Mm -hmm. They were taught yes. how to lie. Mm -hmm. These informers do not just start, they are trained. Mm -hmm. If you go to media houses, even CNN, they do teach people how to yes. disinform. Mm -hmm. You don't just know how it happened. But if you are wiser, you can tell. There is a bias towards this person or this political party or this organization or this government. They don't like these people and these governments and so and so forth and so forth and so forth. Disinformation. Yes. yes. They took the money yes. and yes. did as they were taught. Yes. And this is saying is commonly reported yes. among the Jews yes. until this day. At the time of Apostle Matthew's writing, the Jews believed what the soldiers said, mm -hmm. which means paid this information, worked mm -hmm. as early as 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's not a new gimmick. Mm -hmm. It's not a new tactic. Mm -hmm. It happened so many thousands of years ago, mm -hmm. and it's still working up to this day. Yeah. The price of ignorance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you not paying to be disinformed? <laughs> the difference between the soldiers and the women. The women were, were told, go quickly. <laughs> and when they went, they were joyful. They were joyful. There was fear of God. They feared God. Yes. You see, those who are not paid, yes. <laughs> those who are not sent yes. by, by money, Man. yes. those who are sent by God, God. Yes. they go in the, the fear, fear of God. God. Yes. And there is great joy. joy in them. Yes. But the soldiers, God, yes. they, they, the they are just excited about the money. money. And then they just do as they were taught. They do as they are taught. Yes. Whether they were joyful or not, they were not. But the money. <laughs> uh, yeah. As I talk right now, many, many more years from now, yes. our own people in Africa are going to start to write history, our own African history, Africa. Mm -hmm. Because our history was also distorted. Mm -hmm. Yes. The books that we studied at school when we were studying African history, mm -hmm. they were written by disinformers. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell us about how women were abused yes. by men during the liberation struggle. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have women in our families yes. who were raped mm -hmm. by our own brothers. Yes. They went to war to fight the white men. Mm -hmm. They came back with the children. Mm -hmm. Go and read one history book and tell me where that is written. <laughs> you don't find in our history books stories mm -hmm. about how our own people spied 
and 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 disinformed the soldier yes. on our own people and the parents. Ordinary hatred caused the people to report to the soldier, mm -hmm. the liberation of fighters. This one is a sellout. He's selling information to the white government. Our soldiers didn't have the decency to investigate these allegations. Some were, were put the, the, the barrel of the gun in their mouths mm -hmm. and they were blown, their, their brains were blown out based on false information. Mm -hmm. Some things were discovered after the war. Some people watched their parents mutilated mm -hmm. because of the war. Yeah. But the basis of their death has nothing to do with the war. Mm -hmm. Village rivalries caused the people to miss and disinform about each other, and they died. Yes. The idea of a liberation war that was holy is itself is a manifestation of myopia and naivety. If we are going to be real, we have to say everything as it happened. Yes, we succeeded in dislodging the colonial rule of the British government. That was a good work. Why not say everything that happened? Mm. We are human, we made mistakes. Where is our mistakes? In the history books. Mm. If we are making mistakes today by killing each other now, is this something that started after the war? Did we not kill each other even during that war? Is that not disinformation? They wanted to create an idea of a holy comrade mm. who came back from the war mm. <laughs> with clean hands. Aye. That's why we are disinformed. Mm. Everything is based on disinformation. Mm. Disinformation, 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 and disinformation. I'm talking about history because as you walk right now, you say I'm a graduate. Mm -hmm. You tell us that we have six A's in all level. Mm -hmm. One of your A's is in history. Yes. You paid to be disinformed. Mm. If you are a historian right now, mm. how correct is the history that is studied? Mm. Are you not paying to be disinformed? Ogeta A ku history. Tongu garaka fa say. Forget the ego history. How do we have chiefs today? Mm. We didn't have chiefs before the colonial era. The colonial era disbanded the royal kingdoms of Africa. Mm. They stripped the power, the executive power that the king, kings had. They gave birth and they authorized the chiefs who were basically Iran boys for the district administrators who were now reporting to the DA. Did we come back from liberation and reorganize our society to be what it was before the colonial era? Tell me who was a chief in 1800 in Africa, mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe. Who was a chief? Where are the kings? Where is the king of the Ndebeles? Mm -hmm. The Roji is the king. Yes. They now have a chief. <laughs> is that our history? Or it is the British or the colonial history? History yadu chayo ilkupi. Who is a headman? We didn't have headman in Africa, in Zimbabwe. We didn't have headman. Ask those who know we didn't have headman. Are you a historian who doesn't know that we didn't have headman? You know, a history. history. You know, from what I did in Zimbabwe. That is in headman in Zimbabwe. Ask your history well. And now the other question is, who is Mbuya Neanda? <laughs> is Mbuya Neanda Char, where or Char, where was possessed by the spirit of Mbuya Neanda? <laughs> the statue, is it the statue of Mbuya Neanda or it is the statue of Charwe? What is the difference between Mbuya Neanda and Charwe? How can we erect a statue of Gogone and uh, with a head when Charles head is in Britain right now. Mm -hmm. So, what Gogola Bakupi? 
Was it not wiser to erect that statue without a head? Or wait to recover the head of Mbiani and Ocharwe from England and erect a statue? People who see that statue, they will think that that, that statue resembles Mbiani and but the real Mbiani and died before the camera came to Africa. <laughs> That is a picture of Charwe <laughs> and not the picture of Mbiani. Are you a historian? You have an A in history. Did you not pay for that history <laughs> lesson? Are you not a, 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 a someone who acquired ignorance? Shandiri kutaura is vanu vano, ziva vano ziziva kuti icho kwa da. Zizi zem baibere, zizi zem icho kwa di jaga itike. Statue ya ya isi ambia ni anda. Ndiya icharwe. Charwe msoro wa kioriku Britain. Statue ya msoro. Nisi kuzi ya uti. Maria kashanti si kwa kumaka statue. Takadi kushanti sa shoma. Kuro taura na ni. Na Boris Johnson. Tawas tora msoro wa ni. Wa charwe. Iwo mufuzo dewe kuti. Mbia ni anda picture ya wea kapa kupi. Alo iziwa dia. Muno ziziwa kuti kwa wene ime homu nga ichara waza tako. Stachu ya kicha isikuwa kupi. Akatora mwe ya uyu ichara waza tako. Hariko. Nezi taraki ma historia nzano mzi. I'm just giving ordinary information which you should know so that when we talk about our own history, we will also know that there is a lot that we do not know about. What we are paying for is not the truth. We are learning what they decided to teach us. Mm -hmm. They sat down and agreed. Let's tell them this information. Mm -hmm. Yes, if we go back to the pre-colonial states, we had kings and not chiefs. Mm -hmm. And they did as taught. <laughs> and they are teaching as they are taught. Yes. So then they could invest to Ozoga, so we didn't have zero paid ignorance. Yes. Yeah. There are people right now who believe that Christianity is a white man's religion. Mm. They paid to acquire such That's ignorance. Yes. There are people who believe or who think that Jesus was a white man. Mm. Is that not ignorance? There are people who believe that Jesus belongs to the Jews. <laughs> they believe such ignorance and they paid for it. Now, we, we, we have to end this advice, but I just want you to know that we are going to need to work very hard to identify who we are as children of God. Yes. I gave examples of the history of Zimbabwe mm -hmm. to show you that when we properly get independent, yes. we are going to sit down and tell the truth as it happened. Yes. I am a father, I love my children, but during my course as a parent, yes. I made mistakes. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the history of this family. Mm -hmm. I will not deceive and select the good things that I want you to hear. Mm -hmm. I will tell you the truth. Yes. We love you. You are our heroes. But you made mistakes. Tell mm -hmm. us those mistakes. If history is censored, it becomes dangerous history. Oh, yes. Yes. It becomes a lie. Mm -hmm. Don't censor history. Don't tell us what you think we want to hear. Mm -hmm. No. No. You are giving us a picture of a robot that is flawless. <laughs> if this line was drawn by a human being, we must see human errors in this line. Yes. Yes. If there are no human errors, then it's not a human being. It's mm. a robot. Mm. Was the war fought by robots or it was fought <laughs> by human beings? Tell us everything. That is the truth. The unfortunate thing is we are paying mm -hmm. to be disinformed. Mm -hmm. We are paying to be misinformed. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Let's come to church. The things that you think you know about Jesus today, yes. all of them mm. over us here, mm. all of them, mm. to those who are still attending false churches, everything that you think you know about Jesus, you paid for it. it. Mm. Yes. It is wrong, but you paid for it. Yes. And the man of God will tell you, you must give mm -hmm. so that the work of the gospel can go for. Yes. In order for me to preach, I must not be hungry. Mm -hmm. So the man of God is very clear. Mm -hmm. You are paying <laughs> for what he's preaching to you. Yes. Because if he doesn't eat something that you buy, he's not going to preach to you. What happens when you then realize that what he was teaching is false? <laughs> it means you were paying you him, fed him to disinform you. Yes. This is why we call it acquired yes. ignorance. <laughs> Let's just sample one thing when we talk about the gospel. Maybe two. <clears throat> the first principle is they teach every time when they want to take money, they say, you must provoke God yes. so that God can bless you. Mm. This is what they say. Yes. They say, God will never take your money and remain silent. <laughs> God will never be lent money and he will not pay back. God is a faithful borrower. Yes. So what they teach you mm -hmm. is that you must advance money to God. Yes. Lend money to God mm -hmm. and God will pay back. Mm -hmm. Now, you have paid. You have paid for this ignorance. Yes. Let's find out from just the three scriptures if mm -hmm. God needs us to pay him for him to bless us. Yes. Romans chapter 8 verse 32. Romans chapter 11 verse 33. And of course, we are going to read uh, the book of uh, uh, Psalm, maybe four of them, and we are going to read First Chronicles as well. Romans chapter 8, yes. 32. He that spared not his own son. God did not spare his own son. But delivered him up for us all. God gave us his son. Yes. Yes. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Mm. So God, if he is going to give us all things, Pastor, yes. he gives us freely. freely. Mm. How much does he ask from us? Nothing. Yeah. How much do we pay? Believe whatever you are. Toba Jaramari. Marakati. Kutimone kutindinoda kukupaye jinu pachena. Yes. Ndichakupaye manako manawangu kutafe ne kudakwenyu. Yes. The sign that God will not charge us, mm -hmm. according to Romans 8.32, yes. is that he gave us his son to die yes. without having received money from anyone. Yes. Did anyone pay money to God for God to bring Jesus to die for us? Definitely no. He, how shall he not with him, with mm -hmm. the same Jesus? Mm -hmm. Freely give us yes. all things also. Oh, yes. The word do all is absolute. Yes. The word do all is conclusive. Yes. The word do all is emphatic. Yes. All things shall be given freely mm -hmm. from God. Yes. Well, the money you have, if you don't know my brother, my sister, you have this money because you went to work and mm -hmm. you were paid by your employer. Mm -hmm. The body that you used to get that job yes. was given free of charge by God. Yes. Yes. God never charged you mm. to give you a bright mind that mm. can understand whatever profession you have. Mm. Yes. It was a free gift from God. Yes. The air that you breathe, you don't pay. Mm. Think about it. You mm. get tired every day, but every morning you have enough energy, yes. new energy to yes. go to work. Yes. How much do you pay God for that energy? Mm. This is now the correct information. How can God not give? How shall not God give you all things for free if he had already given us his son freely mm. to die for our sins? Mm. Yes. 
The disinformers will say, no, mm -hmm. nothing will work if God doesn't take anything from you. Even Isaac said to Esau, bring me venison mm -hmm. so that I can bless you. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you the whole story that after bringing venison, mm -hmm. Esau was not blessed. The one who was blessed by God mm. through Isaac, Jacob. He took from his father's lot. Yes. Jacob offered meat from his father's livestock. Yes. And Isaac blessed Jacob on account of his own gods. Mm -hmm. Jacob did not hunt yes. to get the blessing. Yes. Yes. Esau who went to hunt got nothing. Mm. They won't tell you the true story. Yes. They are disinformers. Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, you are paying to be disinformed. Yes. Romans 11.33 Yes. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Yes. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Yes. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Yes. Or who hath been his counselor? Yes. Or who hath first given to him? Who first gives it to God? Yes. And it shall be recompensed that unto God him may again. give you back. Yes. Yes. For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Read verse 35 and 36. Or who hath first given to him? Who started? Who gave God first? And it shall you know, be recompensed. Unfortunately, over here, yes. Apostle Paul did not know that this information was going to degenerate mm -hmm. to where to levels where we now see people actually telling the whole congregation that you can give first to God. Yes. That God may recompense it unto you. Mm -hmm. In the in the in the Apostle Paul's days, yes. he was asking. With so much confidence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because in his days, nobody ever thought yes. he could give first to God. <laughs> but yeah. I was growing, as I was growing uh, in the, I, I attended the AFM Cout Apostolic Fighting Mission. And mm -hmm. I also attended Zayoj. In mm -hmm. these churches, mm -hmm. they sing one common song. Yes. It says, give as you give. Give it unto the Lord. And the Lord do give it back unto you. Mm. Give to God, <laughs> and God will give it back Take unto you. you. Give first, mm. and God will pay back. Hey. I'm sure you can agree. You heard this. You heard yes. this song also as you were growing up. Some are still singing it today. <laughs> In also pages questions, Iwe Ukapa, Ukapa, Uchapiwa, Uka Nima, Ucha Nima. It's a quid pro quo transaction. Give and get back. Don't give and don't get. The question was who has first given, given. to God? Yeah. That it shall be recompensed unto him again. Yes. Apostle Paul thought everyone was going to say, No one. <laughs> but everyone today is saying, Me, I have given <laughs> faith to God. Mm. And I tell you today, if Apostle Paul was going to come back, he was going to faint at hearing <laughs> just one same, he would faint. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You see, <laughs> and people are giving what they call testimonies. Yes. They say, I gave first and yes. God blessed me. Yes. This is acquired yes. ignorance. Yes. Believing that you can give first to God, mm. you were not born with such ignorance. Mm. You were, you acquired it. <laughs> you 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 woke up in the morning. You took a bath. You used your own soap, your own toiletries. Some of you you had you had cars. You you bought fuel to go to a center of disinformation, masquerading as a church. After spending the whole day at church, you came back with ignorance. Now you think if something is going wrong in your life. Your first question is, is there anything that God wanted that I didn't give? Yeah. 
you think when God gets angry, he withholds blessings of money from you. Mm. How come you still have two eyes to this day? Oh. If God always took something from you every mm. time he got angry with you, how come you are still able-bodied today? Mm. Imagine if God was that cruel, would you still have both your eyes? Some of you, we have more children than you can afford to raise. <laughs> God gives you children with yes, all that wickedness. Yes. How come God is not taking your children from you? Because you have made mistakes. You are ignorant. Yes. But your ignorance was not born in you. You acquired it. <laughs> and you didn't acquire it for free. You paid for it. So after saying in verse 35, who is he first to given to, to him? him? In verse 36, he then says what? For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. For Amen. from him yes. and through, through him, him and to him, him. Yes. are all things. things. Yes. All yes. things are from yes. God. Yes. All yes. things yes. are through yes. God. Yes. And all yes. things yes. are to, to God. God. Mm. In, in Acts chapter 17, verse 24, mm -hmm. the Bible says, Paul preached in mm. Greece. He said, God. Mm. He has made the world and all things there. Yes. Yes. Seeing that his Lord of heaven and earth dwells not in temples made with hands. Verse 25. Neither is worshipped with men's hands. People cannot give to God. Yes. As though he needed Because anything. God needs nothing. He says, as though <laughs> he needed, he needed anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't God need anything? Seeing he gives to all life and breath. And all things. He gives to whom? To all. He, what does he give? <laughs> life. He starts by giving life. life. Yes. yes. He gives you life. <laughs> he gives you breath. And, and then he gives things. you all things. All things yes. that Romans 8, 32 also spoke about. Yes. All things he gives. Yes. God doesn't need anything. Yes. yes. Okay. Psalm 50. Yes. Verse 7, hear all my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings. Yes. To have been continually before me. Yes. I will take no bullock out of thy house. Yes. No he gods out of thy fold. Yes. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Yes. I know all the fowls of the I air. I know all the birds of the, the air. Yes. Of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are yes, mine. Yes, they are mine. If I were hungry. If I was hungry, this is God talking. Yes. If God would be hungry one yes. day, yes. would he ask you from Sibongile and say, <laughs> prepare a meal for, for me, me and I will bless you. <laughs> if God was hungry, what would he do? I would not tell thee. God would not tell you, Pastor, <laughs> yes. if he was hungry. <laughs> for the world is mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In the fullness thereof. If God was hungry, he would yes. what? <laughs> he would never tell us. Would he tell us? <laughs> no. Overseer, if God not was hungry, all. would he tell you? No. <laughs> If God was hungry, yes. If God was hungry, yes. read verse 12 again. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls? Or, or drink the blood of gods. Hebrews ten So there are people now who have offered bulls and yes, gods. Yes. And they're asking God to bless them. They say, I gave you my booze and you ate them. them. Bless me. <laughs> the bad, no. But the scripture says, I don't eat it the flesh the of booze. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm better than that. <laughs> I'm more powerful than that. Yeah. I am more richer than that. Yes. I don't drink the blood of God. <laughs> hey, 
So if you look at these two pastor, the bulls mm. and the goats, goats. Yes. the goats are too small. Mm. The bulls represent strength. strength. Yes. So God is using these two, two. to mm. put both the rich and the poor all in right. one bracket. Right. If mm. you think you are strong Small like enough. a bull, mm. God will not accept you. <laughs> Even the smaller ones <laughs> and the nonsensical ones, he like God, not. he will not take. Katinda buru, marani kachita andi jikanya mema buru. Kata entiri tumbuzi, tungo itarusha. Ano tufuta andi jikifuti magumna mbuzi. Mm. So both the bulls and the goats God. are rejected mm. yes. in broad daylight. Yes. This is the correct information mm. yes. which we are giving to you for free. Mm. Somebody came nicely dressed like I am today mm. and he told you mm. if God doesn't eat your boo, yes. you will die in poverty. Mm. This I tell you <laughs> by the power of God, <laughs> by my anointing, I can tell you I have never seen anyone prospering yes. who doesn't want to give to God. Mm. If you have 10,000, stand there. If you have 1,000, stand there. If you have 500, I'm going to pray for you. Those with the $10, sit down. You are blessed. Hey. So you are going to the pulpit to yes, give money. money. You are paying for ignorance. Yes. You are paying for ignorance. Wakazi zira udofo. Wakazi zis kwa kusaziva. Mm. Une kusaziva kwa wakaita shoku zis kwa. Mm. You see? Yes. yes. Mm. So this is one example. I'm ending now. Example of acquired Quiet ignorance. ignorance. Mm. Is the, most of our people, especially in Africa, mm -hmm. when they give, they are not moved by a gratitude, a mm -hmm. thanksgiving mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. I thank God for making me. Mm -hmm. I thank God for being healthy. Yes. I thank God for being alive. Mm -hmm. I thank God for sending Jesus to die for my sins. Mm -hmm. I am giving to God out of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I am giving to God out of what he has already given to me. Mm -hmm. They are giving because the men of God has told them mm -hmm. that if they are to give to God, yes. God will respond mm -hmm to what they are going to do. Yes. So in their minds, they have to do the first act and then God reciprocates. Mm -hmm. That doctrine yes. belittles God mm -hmm. who is a reactionary. Mm -hmm. Our God is proactive. We are creatures and God is the creator. Yes. How can the creature make the first move mm -hmm. towards the creator? The creator. Mm -hmm. What nonsense. Yeah. But this is what you have been told. Yes. 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 You are disinformed. Yes. But you paid for that disinformation mm. to happen. What shall it take to flush out all this garbage, to detoxify you of all this heresy, yes. so that you can acquire proper knowledge about God? Have you ever heard someone over here saying, but why? Why does God do this to me? Maybe I did something wrong. You know, mm. yes. Let me tell you, you have been wrong ever since you were born. <laughs> there is no need for God to punish you for the wrong things that you have done today. Yes. From the day you were born, you were, you were wrong. wrong every minute of every hour. <laughs> If God yes. wanted to punish you yes. for your wrongs, yes. he would have killed you even before you turned to fight. Hakuna munu anesimba rekuvunza kuti mwari ndamutadzira chii ari kundiranga wakazvarwa wakashata zvisingaite. Kufunga iko kuti maybe ndaita accident pane zvandatadzira mwari. You paid for your ignorance. Yes. You have never been right, my dear, from the day you were born. Yes. Yes. If you are to ask God, what wrong have yes. I done? God will say, you don't need to do anything yes. for you to be wrong. Yes. You just need to be you. Yes. You are wrong. Yes. 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 This is who we are. Yes. 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 Y
Yes. You are misinformed. You are disinformed. Yes. People talk about what wrong have I done. Yes. You don't need to do anything. Oh, yes. You don't need to do anything. <laughs> you don't need to do anything yes. to yes. be wrong. Mm. You just need to be alive. Yes. You are wrong before God. Yes. We are born in sin. Yes. Tandofunga. Even usina joki, we don't want but we are all as unclean things. Yes. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf. And, un and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Yes. And there is none that calleth upon the name that teareth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us and has, and has consumed us because of our iniquities. All right. Um, the Hebrew word for rags in Isaiah 64 mm -hmm. is beged. B E H G E D from the English transliteration. Of course, the Hebrews languages no alphabetical letters in its original etymology. The word beged it represents. The, the rag or the, let me use the contemporary language and I apologize for the graphic nature of this word. But it's necessary because that's what it means. It means sanitary pad or tampon that women use on their menstruation cycles. This is not a translation. This is exactly what it means. Mm -hmm. But we all is an unclean thing. Mm -hmm. And we are all as an unclean thing. Mm -hmm. yes. And all our righteousness, mm -hmm. our righteousnesses are as a beggar, mm -hmm. as a used sanitary pad, mm -hmm. filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Mm -hmm. There is none that calls upon thy name that stirs up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. Mm -hmm. Now, take note of what is happening in verse 6. Mm -hmm. He did not say all our sins are as beggared. Mm -hmm. He said all our, our righteousness, righteousness. Mm -hmm. which means at our best. Mm -hmm. When you do what you think is best mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. without yeah. Christ, it is abominable, mm -hmm. as, as beggared, mm -hmm. a used sanitary pet. Not our sins. No, 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 no. That's not <laughs> the verse. The verse is not talking about our sins. It's talking about our righteousness. Mm. <laughs> need anything. We are born as sinners. Mm. For those who want to clarify this faith, that you can read Romans 5, 12 to 17. You can read Colossians chapter 1, chapter 2, verse 13. You can also read Ephesians 2, verse number 1 to 5. Can you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 16 to verse 23? All these scriptures will show you that we are not sinners by way of what we have done. Yeah. We are sinners by virtue of our birth in the flesh. Yeah. We inherited sin from the father of the flesh, the first Adam. So those who think that you can do something that offends God and then God causes havoc in your life, you are assuming that before you did what you think is wrong, you were right. You are naturally wrong mm. from the outset. Mm. So 
All these things, you learned them. This is acquired ignorance. Acquired ignorance. You paid mm. to be disinformed. Yeah. <laughs> ignorance is more expensive mm. than knowledge of the truth. Yes. The truth is given free of charge mm. because of God's benevolence, kindness, mercy. Mm -hmm. But in order for you to be deceived, the devil must present something that appears to be lucrative. Mm -hmm. And in order for it to be viewed as valuable, mm -hmm. the devil then puts a price. The human psychology is framed in a certain way to believe that the more expensive something is, the more valuable it is. Mm -hmm. Go into the beer halls, those prostitutes which think they look better than others, they charge more money. <laughs> but it's debt. You are yes. paying for debt. Yes. There is more beautiful debt and there is ugly debt. You see, Jarafane <laughs> Fojga, Munaru puta chumonera, Naru puta Mexican cigar, Vanita Kunge Vakasiana. I see China, yes. You go about as Mexican cigar, which you roll watch it in the two thousand. You all go on a much good side, which I want to have a But in China, so this psychology tells you if I am going to be taught the truth, I must pay. Mm -hmm. So the men of God who do what are called billionaire seminars. Yes. Success seminars, one-on-one mm. -on -one seminars, mm. healing schools. Yes. In all these infrastructures, mm. you are paying yes. to be disinformed. Mm -hmm. So you tell people, we were at a seminar, mm -hmm. we paid $300 each. Mm -hmm. We are better. You feel better than those who couldn't <laughs> afford. <laughs> Just ask yourself one question. If going to heaven was going to be requiring you to make to pay money, yeah. would the poor go to heaven? Mm. Mm. Do you know that there are people who are rich today who are going to be poor five years from now? Mm. So if we say salvation is now for it's sale, today they will say it's fine, fine. we'll mm. go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Five years from now, they will be asking, Apana get free. Maria Capera, Campania Capro, a panapano pinde, Rasina Mare. You are paying to be disinformed. Yes. The amount of time you are spending on social media, yes. such scientific researches have realized that 70% of information on Facebook is a lie, mm -hmm. or it's not true 100% yes. to a certain extent. Mm. Information you are spending on, time you are spending on, money you are spending on, uh, spending time on TikTok, YouTube, most of those things are based on mm. Most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Most of them. You are paying mm. to be disinformed. And when people tell you that they, you have been deceived, you ask them, how much money are you charging you for the truth you are saying? Mm. And they will say to you, no, we are not charging any money. And you say, oh, if it is for free, it's mm. suspicious. <laughs> it's usually a lie. Mm. As we talk right now, there are people who don't come to hear us preaching mm -hmm. because we don't charge money. They think if they pay, something is more valuable when you pay. I hope this advice has advised you to be careful because not every form or piece of knowledge in this world is correct. Most of it is not true. God must help you to discern truth and lies, disinformation and proper information, especially about Jesus. So many things have been said in church that are not true about Jesus. 
And the bad thing is you have paid for this. And this is the reason why you have an attachment with those lies. Because they remind you of your receipts. How can I abandon five years of my tithing receipts? Mm. There are receipts in your home mm. of how much you paid to be disinformed. Mm. When we preach the truth, you don't want to come because in your mind, you still have the pain of those monies you paid. Mm. It pains you to walk away from those receipts, doesn't it? So you are staying longer and you are being disinformed more. Mm. You pay to be disinformed and not just with money. You pay with your time. Yes. You pay with your blood. Mm. You pay with your sweat and your energy. Yes. You pay with your heart. Some you even paid with your own marriage. Mm. Some you even paid with your own family and children. Yes. There's no more peace between you and your children mm -hmm. because the church told you that someone <clears throat> was using black magic mm -hmm. in your family. Mm -hmm. yes. And so they divided a family. Mm -hmm. You paid to go to church. They disinformed you. Now, your marriage has also become the casualty of this disinformation. Your family has been broken up. You are disinformed to hate your own brothers, your sisters, your mother. We have daughters who don't talk to their mothers anymore mm. because of disinformation happening in church using the Bible. Yes. I had a certain tall liar and, 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 and fruit star saying, go and tell your witch that Makandiwa kills witches and wizards. And I don't Look at the irony. Mm -hmm. Makadua breaks that he kills yes. witches and wizards. Mm -hmm. Jesus breaked that he dies for the witches and wizards. Oh, Who yes. are you going to follow? Mm -hmm. Yes. Whereas Makadua kills witches, mm -hmm. Jesus died, died for, for the, the witches. witches. But the people are following that one. Mm -hmm. Anura Yamaru. Nomkora Yamaru. Naya Makandiwa. Muchatende Otsani. Imagine a doctor breaking that he kills all sick people. Hey, <laughs> who are you going to treat? Naya Chiremba Mukaura, where Mucharapa, Ni. Ah, yeah. Is those right? It's our out in the Kuno Tori never can go up, but there are same on you. Hey, I got better. Fully paid. When does you go jeans or no, no, get fully booked? Munura ever roy. Saka, Muchasara Nan is a tinoro at Tese. Are you not paying to be disinformed? Yes. Is your ignorance coming to you for free? Mm. Or you are paying steep prices and yeah. steep costs mm. for your ignorance? There are people right now who are not doing anything. Mm -hmm. They say, I'm looking for a job. They can't sell things on the vending market. They were told that if you are degreed, you must go into an office. Yes. You paid for four years mm -hmm. to be lied to. Yes. Now you have a useless degree in a country that is not building any industry. Five years from now, you shall find a job. Someone who is running a tax shop today mm -hmm. is going to expand into a multi-million dollar business. Mm -hmm. He's going to hire you to be his human resources manager and you are going to find a job five years from now. Mm. The person who is going to employ you does not have a degree. He is simply knowledgeable on what builds his life and what doesn't. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> Come on. Kudzidza, kuna kushata, atiskura mba kudzidza. Kati zidze zinu zinote waka. Kati rege kuzidze zinu zinote uraya. Yes. Yes. There are no mountains from where the United Arab Emirates government can crush stones to pave their roads into tarred roads. 
Arabs import quarry stones from Africa. Mm. They have the world's best roads. <laughs> we have the stones. We don't have roads. <laughs> if people wanted to be having excuses, mm. Arabs should not have tired roads, yes. paved roads. Mm. They would say we don't have the stones, yes. so we have gravel roads. Mm. They have paved roads. They import stones from Africa. Africa has stones. It doesn't have roads. Acquired ignorance. Everyone is looking for donors and investors. Acquired ignorance. You are being told that if somebody doesn't come from overseas to give you money, you can't do anything. What a tragedy. If Africans were sent to Europe and Europeans were sent to Africa after 10 years, Africans in Europe would be looking for visas to come back to Africa. <laughs> the African land is not the problem. Yes. The African people are the problem. Yes. It's all about the mentality. We are educated to be the last. Mm. We are educated to seek for jobs and not to create jobs. We are educated to look for donations and sponsorships. Mm. We are educated to be inferior. We are educated to wear suits and sit in an office behind a computer watching nonsense. Mm. We are educated to tell ourselves that if you cross the sea, you have made success. Mm. Go to Europe, there are European people who are born in the farms. Mm. They live in the farms, they die in the farms. Mm. Yes. But they are multi-millionaires. Yes. Right now, if you see someone from the farms today in Africa, you look down upon him. Mm. 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 Educated ignorance. Mm. That's what we are. Mm. We need to come out of that yes. and tell yes. ourselves we can do better. Yes. We need to look for information that can help us. Look at what the, the information will do to you, where the information will take you. Don't just take a program, a degree program. Ask, where will I get a job with this program? If it is not in my own country, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. You can't educate me in Africa to go and look for a job in Australia. Educate me so that I can work in my own land yes. to improve myself. Yes. The whole idea of getting a work permit is not a good idea. Mm. I want to work in my own country. Whatever I'm building, when I'm dead, when I'm gone, my great-grandchildren will benefit mm. from that. So when we preach every day, we are working very hard to correct all the disinformation. That's why sometimes we are very aggressive because some of this disinformation requires aggression mm -hmm. to come out from you. Yes. We teach the word in a way that, that challenges you to think beyond what you are satisfied with. Yes. We are not naturally aggressive. The word is aggressive towards heresy and towards life. Because lies come from the devil. Yes. You need to be detoxified from disinformation. Mm -hmm. There was a time when I went to, I finished preaching at First Street. So I went to OK. My children had asked me to buy something for him. As I left the supermarket, there were ladies selling vegetables on the pavement. So I stood by a certain table and I picked some vegetables. The woman said, oh, it's, a, it's Apostle Chuenga. Oh, man of God, man of God. We love you so much. You are preaching a very wonderful, very wonderful sermons. We listen to you every time. So I wanted to pay. She said, don't pay, don't pay, don't pay. We can't charge a man of God. I had to spend 10 minutes with those ladies mm -hmm. to educate them. Mm -hmm. That if they don't take money from me, that was the last time I was going to buy from them. <laughs> the first thing. The second thing is, 
I must not use my work as a minister to get things for free. In order for you to come back to selling these vegetables, you need to buy from those who are supplying you. You can't take Chuenga's name to those suppliers mm -hmm. and ask them to resupply you using my name. In business, the transactions are sealed basis, basing on money. Mm -hmm. It's payment based. Let me pay. If you want to give me something for free, visit my home, mm -hmm. bring a paper bag of those vegetables. Mm -hmm. I'll receive them. Mm -hmm. I came to your office as a customer. I'm not going to use my ministerial duties as a form of payment. It's yes. not a payment. So they then understood. I then paid and I left. They said, well, we, we just wanted to show you that we love you. I said, I know you love me. <laughs> Come and listen to the word if you love me. Yes. It doesn't work like that. Yes. You have yes. children to feed. Yes. You have school fees to pay. Yes. You have bills to pay. Yes. The man of God is not a paper bag receiving from everyone and giving to none. Mm. That is not the idea of a man of God yes. that I know. Do not think I say Mangwana. When I was wrong, I was like, 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 May God bless you with more understanding in his word. You must make sure you don't acquire ignorance. Everything that you are reading and watching or listening to, it is informing you in one way or the other. Are you being misinformed? Are you being informed? Are you being disinformed? You must answer this person every time you open a browser. You start to play any video, any audio. Ask yourself this question. Mm. Not everything that you do will benefit you. This was the Ziklag sound advice. I want to read you the last scripture that talks about our discretion towards what we listen to and what we watch. Pastor Rengui, have yes. you been in any way enlightened? Yes, am I? <laughs> it's, it's quite an illumination, and it's a wake-up call for every one of us. Yes, uh, we never knew those words, even the difference between misinforming people and disinforming them. And uh, it's something uh, that I have learned today that... Uh, we always say we are not involved in politics. We are not involved in. But this. we are. But we are. No one is not involved. <laughs> no one is not involved. <laughs> yes, yes. The last scripture is First Corinthians ten twenty three. All things are lawful for me. Yes. But all things are not, not expedient. expedient. Yes. All things are lawful for me, but, but all what? things edify not. Yeah. So you must make sure whatever you listen or watch, yes. it edifies you. Yes. You must always question what you are being told. Yes. You may be facing people who are deliberately disinforming you. Yes. We thank God for this sound advice. Amen. We love you so much. Stay with us.